In the recent Escape for Tarkov patch, the devs added two new 9mm weapons to the game. The first being the STM-9, which is a highly customizable 9mm carbine, and the second is a new pistol called the PL-15. Now, I've tested out and played with both of these new weapons to see how they feel and if they add anything new to the table. And out of all the raids I played, I actually wanted to start off with the PL-15 first because it's easily becoming my new favorite sidearm. And I'll be talking about the STM-9 in another video. Now, there's plenty of 9mm pistols already in Tarkov, so what does the PL-15 actually bring to the table? First, the PL-15 has the highest base ergonomics and lowest recoil out of all the stock 9mm pistols. This means faster aim down sight times, handling, and reduced vertical and horizontal recoil. The PL-15 feels like a slightly modified Glock and it has a very similar recoil pattern too. So this is a good thing because many people consider the Glock 17 to be the best 9mm pistol in the game. Now when you put a Fisher suppressor and a stock on the Glock 17, it's still easily the best handling pistol in Tarkov without question, and it doesn't really come close, but that comes with expensive modifications and changes to the weapon coming down to the slide, pistol grip, stock, suppressor, you name it. You gotta really modify the Glock 17. And that's the one thing I like about the PL-15. It just feels nice right out the gate. Smooth, fast, easy to control, and very simple. There's also iron sights that you can purchase that are actually perfectly raised above suppressors where other nine millimeters don't have that option. So that's kind of nice if you don't want to run a red dot, but you also want to have more accurate iron sights. Now, all the nine millimeter weapons at Tarkov come with obvious restrictions, but when running seven and 31, I think you'll actually be surprised with how many enemies you can put down or at least have it as a backup option for sniping or pushing players that are reloading after you both mag dump and you're still alive. You can pick up this thing from Prap War Level 3 for 18,000 rubles, which is slightly more expensive than the Glock 17, but remember, it does come with higher base stats. So with all that being said, let's take a look at how the PL-15 plays in the raids themselves. How's the audio? I'm gonna go back to the old audio here after this raid. Is the new shotgun in yet? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That was dangerous. I could have just tried to sneak up behind him, and I'm like, fuck it, let's just go. Yeah, it's a new pistol. He's got the Christmas AK. Got a little face shield here. Deli, don't give up on the Steam audio. It could have been a big fluke. <laughs> Wood flip again. Where's the other guy at? Okay. I'm behind you. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck this guy could have been. Did it impact you? In this bush. He's still alive. Yep, got him. Oh, crushed his tip. Man, what a camo boy. I like it. I think he's AFK. No, really? Like, to begin with, yeah. Oh. He just, like, wasn't moving. 
Yeah, I shot him in the head. Holy moly. Maybe heard steps inside, but honestly, who knows? Shot on the wall? Got Stab. Yeah, moving above us. Directly above us. At least I heard it. At least I'm pretty sure. He's lit. Very lit. He's really lit. Got him. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Heard him on my left for a second, then heard him on my right. I was like, my back was turned to him. Thanks. Level three, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell these days, man. Yeah, I knew he overexhausted his ammo. I'm like, I'm pushing this fucking guy. Yeah, I, he sprayed like the majority of his mag after I'd already back down the stairs with you. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. Or what he was seeing, so you know. 308 MDR. Nice. Dude's juiced. Um, do you want to take the SV98? No. I don't, I don't, man, I'm not playing on this account at all, really, outside of some duos and the Bitcoin farm bankrolls that, so I'm not. Okay. I'm easy, brother. Granata, dude. Huh? Your nade. I nade. Okay. Other nade. I see blood everywhere. Nice. Big fan. Another nade. Oh, he's with me here. Pretty sure, unless that's you jumping through back. I just jumped in. Kill that guy. Oof. Didn't see him. He was tucked in there pretty good. He was behind the pig meat. I'm good. Didn't see him. Never. The pig meat, yeah, he was hiding behind the pig meat. I didn't even see. His head was like the same color as the pig meat, so when I came into the door, I didn't even see him. You got Good. him though, yeah? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's Come dead, now. but he fucked me up a little bit. That was me. Just, just a regular scav. Okay. At this building now. Couple other scavs down. They just seemed like reg scavs so far. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, three regs. Their aggro time, like, and it was tracers, and their aggro time was insane, so I just assumed, but they, they could be regular. That sounds dirty. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's one here in the middle. Ooh. What the fuck was that? I see him. Stand up. He's just crouching and shit. Got him. Dead player. On the main road. Red armband. I'm dead. You're dead? Yeah, they're, 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 they are, um, there are raiders here, but they were on some serious business, unfortunately. Where's your body so I can get your stuff? Um, what? it is on the west side of the building with like the awning that faces the courtyard. That big courtyard there, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, it is on the west side of that building uh, between it and the garages with the T gate. <clears throat>
to kill the guy. Just kill the dude that was up on the hill sniping with a Mosin and he came down to like loot some of these bodies. Came right to your body. I was like doing surgery right in the corner. I love it when you wanna get you wanna get fun stick. and weird? I can do whatever you want. Buckle. Let's go this way. We'll probably get a fight right away. <clears throat> True. Be careful of our back right though. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, front right, front left. Kill them. One on me. Okay, behind us or what? On me, on me, in front, in front, uh, left side of the. I don't even know. Sorry, I'm just gonna dodge the bullets. He's shooting at me. Ah! Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, getting um, shot. Pop up and get him. I'm getting shot. Dead. Got him. Yep. Yep. This one is such a dope laser, man. Fuck, I love it. I got hit pretty hard, so I got to heal in the bush. Yep. I don't even know what this guy was up to. He went prone in the middle of the street. What's in the He's box? Towards the stashes. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah. Behind the blue wall. Roger that. Grenade out. Yep. He's tagged a bunch. He's throwing a nade. Be careful. I'm throwing a nade. Just hold the left side of the blue wall. I think I got him. Good you know, peek. He hit me with the side prone peek with a fucking KS-23. That was pretty neat. Nice. Yeah, he got prone and did like the side. Very cool. It's very... It, well, I'm not wearing a fucking uh, helmet, so that could have ended up really bad. Whenever you decide to not wear a helmet, the scariest thing to run into is probably a shotgun, but I got lucky and I was able to take that guy out because he's running that KS-23 pump. But, hope you guys enjoyed the PL-15. Let me know what you guys think of this new pistol in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Where do you think it stands in the game? And then also, uh, I'm going to be running this pistol during my live stream, Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as my secondary, so I can see if I can get some cool moments. I'm going to be packing 7N31 in the magazines, just to give me the best chance to kill some geared PMCs with this thing. But honestly, I'm loving it. I like it more than the STM-9. Probably one of my new favorite additions to the game. And it really helps because it looks really cool, and it kind of looks like the Halo pistol a little bit. Also, what's helping this is the red dot buff. You guys didn't already notice, red dots got buffed and you no longer have to feel the need to always run a PK-06 all the time. If you haven't logged into the game for a couple days, you should definitely go and check that out. It's worth it. It's gonna make everything better, including putting red dots on pistols like the PL-15. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.